Hi right, guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're just having a closer look at the iCarsoft LR version 3.0. Um, just basically to see if it's a good tool and it'll work well on a, a Land Rover vehicle and or a Jaguar vehicle as well. Um, now this is the uh, 2007 Discovery 3. And as you can see, we've got a few warning lights on the dashboard here. So we've got the check engine, the ABS traction, uh, the airbag light as well. And uh, if you are interested in this tool, just make sure to use the link in the description below this video because that will take you to the genuine and official product. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and attempt to get rid of all of these warning lights. Well, most of them in any case. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to enter the diagnostics menu, select the Land Rover option, and then we're going to come through and select our specific vehicle, which is a Discovery 3. So we'll go, you can either VIN identify or vehicle select. Um, I like to just go vehicle select, so we go um, Discovery 3, it's a diesel V6, the ignition is on. It's automatically reading the VIN code in any case. And now what we can do is go to control unit. So this is what allows us to diagnose a specific area within the vehicle. So I want to diagnose the engine control module because that's what's causing the check engine light. So uh, if we go to that, if we just click enter, we we'll go to read fault code. Um, please confirm and select configuration properties. I'll just click no to that. And this is, these are the faults we were getting. Um, so it's telling us one of seven. So this seems to be littered with faults. Um, but in, in each fault, you'll get like a unique fault code and a description of fault. Um, this needed a new, some of them are lost communications actually. Uh, but in any case, we put a new MAF, uh, mass airflow sensor in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear fault memory. And you can see there the check engine light has gone straight away. We go back one. Oh, actually I do know why there'll be the, the fault for the, uh, the vent because we unclipped the vents before. You can see they're still unclipped actually. That fault will eventually come back. Uh, but that's the check engine one. So if we then go to, let's have a look at the airbag light up here. We go to SRS inflatable restraint system, read fault code, um, standard powertrain system, and it's telling us the fault, there's one of six faults, the unique fault code there and the, uh, the description of fault, so we can scroll through them. But then what I'm going to do is click on clear fault memory and when I do this just keep an eye on the airbag light, not necessarily the, the seatbelt light because I don't have my seatbelt fastened. We just erase the codes and there we see the airbag light it flashed for a bit it has come back on but I suspect once we restart the engine or completely come out of the airbag system it will go off um, it should go off eventually in fact let's just go back into that read fault code control module off clear fault memory again there it's flashed and it's come back on We'll come back to that in a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the ABS system now. I've come out too far. Just click OK to that. It's control unit and then we're going to try and find the... Now it doesn't mention it as ABS system. Um, I have to try and remember what it... S uh, vehicle dynamics, it could be that. I'm guessing it's not that. Should have been that actually. That's a transmission, instrument cluster, ride level, all terrain control module, speed control module, parking brake, vehicle dynamics. Ah, it, it was that. Just the, the initial attempt to try and get in did cause a link error. Uh, so we go into their standard powertrain system, and then again we got the four faults, the fault codes, the description of fault. So we had a, a sensor on the front right ABS sensor, which is now being put back in. We go clear fault memory, erasing the fault codes. But the ABS lights are still there, as you can see. So sometimes with the ABS system, it, you just need to sort of come out of it completely and they'll go off. Or sometimes you just need to completely restart the vehicle. So that's what I'm going to do now. Completely, not necessarily take the key out. Start the engine again. 
So the ABS lights have gone, the airbag light has also gone. So that's just what it needed. Um, and what I'll do is just to give it a clean bill, I'll put my seatbelt on and that gets rid of the airbag light there as well. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's, that's how in essence the diagnostic side of things work. If we go to service, um, it's going to give us a list of like special functions that I can do or service functions so we can do oil service reset Electronic parking brake new battery registration DPF regeneration steering angle sensor calibration and reset electronic throttle calibration ABS brake bleeding injector coding TPMS Suspension air conditioning headlamp body stability and a few more as well one thing I would say is that these service functions or special functions don't necessarily work with every single vehicle that's out there so you might get a case whereby say the suspension calibration will work on a 20 2013 model but not necessarily a 20, 2005 or 2006 model of the same vehicle so uh, just bear that in mind and if you want to if you want to double check uh, just use that email address it's inquiries at diagnostic-world.com and they will check for you and let you know whether the uh, the tool is going to be suitable for a specific function or service function or feature within the vehicle itself um, yeah so that's about it really I mean what I'll do is I'll just go in and show you the the Land Rover coverage so you've got the defenders um, between those models the current software tells us up to 2015 the discovery 2017 onwards discovery sport up to 2018 Freelander Range Rover Range Rover Sport Range Rover Evoque Evoke Convertible, Evoke in China, and Velar. And that is the Land Rover side of things. I'll just quickly show you the Jaguar as well. Oh, bugger. Press the wrong button. Jaguar vehicle select there we go so we've got XE XF XJ actually I didn't show you all of them did I so that's the XE to there XF to 2018 I showed you that XK to 2015 F type S type X-Type, E-Pace, F-Pace, and I-Pace. Alright, so um, as I say, uh, you can pick this up at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I will pop a link to this kit in the description below this video. Remember, fakes and clones do exist, so if you want to make sure you're getting a genuine and official tool, make sure you use the links in the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.